170 soldiers are finally home. And it was tears of joy, tears of happiness, and tears of relief. Cambridge Springs was decked out in yellow ribbons, welcome home signs, and American flags. As family and friends welcomed the first wave of soldiers. First Sergeant Jim Bickerstaff says what kept him going day after day in Iraq was knowing this moment was one day closer. Knowing the end is near. <laughs> Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. Getting home to family, getting back to the United States. Happy to be home. Glad to see my family, my wife, my kids, mothers, in-laws. And Sergeant Bickerstaff's family is right there with him on cloud nine. His wife, children, and relatives greeted him with t-shirts donning his picture, posters, and even pets. Relief. Finally he's here. It was rough. It was rough. Somehow we, we managed. God put us through and we, we just did it. You had to do it. One day closer. <laughs> just That's all I thought about. One day closer to the end. Sergeant Bickerstaff says although the soldiers were gone for nine months, they always kept their loved ones close. We go into individual soldiers' uh, rooms and stuff like that when I do inspections or something like that, and everybody's got their own little shrines, pictures, you know, camera or uh, calendars with family pictures that they made, um, just stuff posted all over the place, reminders of home, letters, pictures. Sergeant Bickerstaff says he doesn't know if he will be deployed again anytime soon, but right now he's looking forward to some homemade food and total relaxation. Rest of the day, absolutely nothing. I want to go home and. Uh, Hang out with my family and your dinner. Yeah, my, my dinner that I requested a ham and macaroni and cheese and <laughs> Bud Light. In Cambridge Springs, Kristen Kane reporting.